Yo, 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 what's good, guys? Back with another video, man. This is the day, guys. This is the day y'all been waiting for. I've been waiting for. Time to go on and make it happen, man. 7 30 in the morning. Just drop my daughter off. <sighs> Woke up feeling blessed today, you know. But, um, today we're gonna be taking a dunk to the Zoss shop, guys. Y'all see probably the title of the thumbnail. We're taking a Zoss, I mean, we're taking a dunk to the box, to the to the exhaust shop, y'all get what I'm saying? But yeah, so uh, if y'all remember, I did mention that the speed idle uh, air thing that's in the throttle body, I called myself cleaning it because it was uh, like when I crunk it up, it was real loud. And you know, when you first crank it loud, then it'll idle down. But when I clamped it, it did quiet down a little bit. But it could be, like they said, it could be stuck open or stuck closed. You know, um, I think if it's closed, then it'll be stalling. But if it's stuck open, then it'll be loud and it won't idle. It'll take a minute to idle. So y'all might see me uh, crank it up, you know, like a cold start. But I'm basically gonna be um I'm just gonna buy a new one today, one of them new things. So y'all just bear with it. Like I said, it's gonna be loud. It's gonna be it's gonna idolize, it's gonna idle kind of weird just until I get that piece. At least I can kind of you know put my flow mask and shit on. I can you know get it quiet down. We will be changing the oil and also we'll be changing oh putting uh some uh, antifreeze in it because right now I, I put a little water in there. I don't think all the antifreeze leaked out, but I'm gonna put some water in there. And I haven't got my fans wired to the relay, but I do got my fans wired to the ignition. So when I turn it forward, the fans automatically cut on. So I'm gonna uh, have to go to the guy that wired the fans. But right now I should be good. But I'm thinking as I go, how I'm gonna do the the sound and stuff like that. At this point, I just want to ride. I don't really into all the all the other stuff, but I'm gonna see what they have. I'm gonna see what type of setup, you know, how that goes. But yeah, so we're gonna be doing that. So like I said again, y'all, it's gonna be a little loud. But before I uh, hook it up to the trailer, well, when I hook it up, I'm gonna go ahead and crank it up, kind of let it warm up a little bit, and then, like I said, I get that uh, stop and get that. Idle thing on the way back to the house and the oil change and stuff like that. That way we can change it again. That's the same oil been in there when I had the carburetor on. And I end up changing the oil once that carburetor got flooded, then I change it again. So this time I just want to make sure everything, you know, everything, everything. Um, hopefully we can get a driving footage once I get the exhaust on. So I might not do a lot of record on the exhaust. I might just get it to where, hey, y'all know, y'all know me. Like I said, I go to the exhaust shop all the time with my car. So, I mean, it's nothing really like, you know, crazy about it. So, like I said, I might just trim down the time on to the exhaust shop, just letting them exhaust it. We just do a before, then after, and then come home and actually try to drive it you know what i'm saying for the first time and hope everything work out so that's all but yeah man y'all stay tuned to the channel man uh we'll try to cut y'all back once we get loaded and uh head that way because they open at eight so i'm trying to be there it's like what 740 ish now 750 ish 740 ish so i'm trying to go and get there man hopefully i'm one of the first one so early the better but yeah y'all stay tuned all right, guys, so we got the, no, y'all can't see, but oh yeah, y'all can see a little bit. But we got the dunk on the back, man. Yes, sir. Headed up here now. Got everything strapped. I had weak, re-crunk it, make sure. Uh, everything was good, crunk up. 
yeah, everything was good, man. It crumpled up and everything, so. Add into the, what's the name? I forgot my camera stick, so. Hey, I'll be forgetting that motherfucker. But yes, sir, man, y'all stay tuned. I'll just let y'all know I got it loaded. And we rolling out. What I might do too, I might, um, when I take it off the thing, I might just run down the street to, uh, I think it's O'Reilly down the street, or AutoZone, I think it's AutoZone. When I take it off the trailer, man, I might just run to one of the parts stores and uh, get the oil stuff in that, um, that speed thing, I mean that idle control thing that I was talking about. That's what I might do, just go on there on and get it that way i ain't gotta take the car i can just um just run and get it while they working i can go and knock out kill two birds at one stone stone got a pocket full of stone yeah man i know about that too i'm a 90s baby i know about that you know what i'm saying man we're right here on tear road Y'all yeah, know I gotta go see my boys, man, on Terry Road, man. My boy Delta Exhaust, man. You know they give me right every time. Every time. If I like a bird. If I like a bird. Yes, sir. Early bird, get the worm, baby. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Pulling up now. Bad, I'm living too fast. Hard times go bad. Yeah, talking over my ass. Boy, you ain't put a bitch in a bag. All my life. Oh, okay. Whew. Thank you. Jesus. Hey, bro. How you doing? Hey right. right, man, y'all got me an opening? Huh? Y'all got an opening for me? So free up, man. Yeah. Okay, okay, cool, cool. Mind if I park on the side? Yeah. Even was like, damn, or yes. In about one mile, turn left onto Elton Road. Lucky, bro. It's always something, man, with these cars, man. Okay. Yeah, it's always something with these cars. So basically, damn, it's a road. Jackson, man, y'all can do better than these roads. That's a nice house going away right there, man. I ain't gonna lie. Nice little property area. So basically, on my driver's side, that is, you know, my my uh, collectors, right? It's like right there before when I my gear shift thing. It's like a little ride going to my transmission. It's like right there, and it was just like, oh, we might can't, you know, we might can't do it. Up, oh. I was like, fuck. I said, hey, you can just cut this right here, make it short. He was like, oh, let me see. Call the at the next light, turn left. I said, yeah, you just cut this right here. You know what I'm saying? You, you know. Well, you want me to just do it? I said, yeah, just, man, fuck that. I ain't trying to, I ain't come all the way up for nothing. I'm like, bro, I'm on a mission, man. Because what else I can do? Only thing, it's still going to be in a way, like, even if I would have did long two headers, maybe long two headers would have got it out the way. But I think it still would have hit. On the driver, on the passenger side, the damn transmission line is like there in the way. I said, bro, what? He was like, what you going to do about this? And what about this? What you going to do about this? 
At the light, turn left onto Elton Road. That's what y'all for, ain't it? Y'all can make something work. And he was just like, later on, he was like, man, I hate this job. I said, I don't blame you. Trust me, I, I know. He was like, man, we do this shit every day. Every day is not, it's every day. It's like this every day. I was just like, well, you know, just gotta look at it like this, man. Like, you know, people need y'all. Y'all, you know what I'm saying? We spend the money. People need y'all, but y'all can get creative with y'all work. And I'm not a welder, so I don't understand. But I can see the frustration of they have to modify things. You know what I'm saying? I get it. Trust me. Got to modify things to make it work. But it's really, you know, you either got to deal with it or walk away, man. But yeah, man, we're gonna go up here. Make a little run real quick, guys. We'll cut y'all back, man. So hopefully we'll get back before they done. Y'all to go turn right onto Old Byron Road. I'll just go to the bar, the paint store. I mean the, the uh, auto store. I really would. I really didn't mean to go this way. But yeah, we're gonna make a run, and I was gonna go to the um, to the parts store before they get done. But I might just have to go after they get done based off, you know what I'm saying? Just, just based off, I don't want them to be done and try to, you know, what's the name? I just want to be the first one there, so we'll just go after, man. I might just go to the one when I get home. Just on my way home, just stop at the one in, you know, close to the house, be done with it. So I can get on to the crib. And plus the one in Jackson, it's a good big ass deal. <laughs> Got a late. Oh yeah, man, doing good, man. Yeah. All right, man. So, oh, I'm gonna show y'all what they had to do. So right here, that gear thing I was telling y'all about, they had to run it down a little bit. And then I got the turn down back there. I said I wasn't gonna get it, but I got it right now. All right, finally leaving the saw shop. Whew. Had to do some little modifications, but everything good. So like I said, we're about to head to the parts store, get what we need. Um, got some tweaking to go on on the car. Like I said, it's been a while, but they got a couple of little tweaking the eyes and in to knock out real quick. Okay, there we go. Yeah, the knockout. It's a pink shot. Blue looks pink shot. Um, it's a little spot where that tie hitting when I turn far. Knock that out. Uh, we're gonna put some gas treatment in. We're gonna put some gas in it. I'm gonna try to drive to the street, put some gas in it. Uh, after the gas in it, a little touching up, man. Like I said, guys. But um, I couldn't get a good footage there. So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna get a footage just driving it. Uh, I'm gonna try to get it, you know, off the trailer, of course. And then we'll try to drive it around the block after I put everything on. After I do everything to it first, <clears throat> then we'll crank it up. Cause I might run to the store and get a jug and put some gas in the jug and put it in there before. Cause I don't, like I said, I put like, I put a little gas in there just to crank it, a little gas. So I don't want to goddamn take to the store and it run out. So we're going to do that. We're going to do everything first 
and then we'll just cut y'all back once we ready to take it off the trailer. I mean, uh, not take it off the trailer, but once we rest, ready to do it, you know what I'm saying? Go take around the block, kind of, you know, get adjusted to it. Shit like that, man. All right, man, we changing the, uh, the idle air valve thing right now. That be high, hundred and something dollars. Ooh. Ain't no way. This little thing, hundred and something dollars, bro. But we're gonna try and test it out, man. But I got to broke down real quick, so this thing right here, we're gonna go in. I could have went to a junkyard, but I was like, man, nah. -uh. If this don't work, I'm gonna take it back. <laughs> so, cut y'all back. To the gas station. We're gonna put some gas in this jug in the truck. Got the car off, y'all can see. Just put stuff in here. Everything. Oh, let me see something real quick. Okay. Maybe I did it there. Man, we got action, man. Let's go around this motherfucker real quick. Y'all here. Come on, man. Y'all already know, man. Come on, boy. Hey, come on, boy. Downs. Well, not right here, but they like back here though. <laughs> it's not a leak that's that been there. That's on milk. Gotta change one of these damn bugs. I don't know what bug it is. So it's probably that bulb out. Gotta replace it. <laughs> they own, but you can't really see. But yeah, she sound good.
I got my kid with me right now, so I'm gonna have to wait. So I can just, you know, take it on the drive. So I'm probably gonna just actually just spray it down real quick. Throw some water on it. That's my hand prints right there. That's what I'm about to do. Uh, I need to check this pressure. I'm gonna check uh, gas pressure. I'm gonna put, well, I'm gonna leave it right here. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it right here. I'm gonna check the pressure real quick. And then I will uh, go from there. I gotta see. Make sure I'm getting a correct, you know, fuel pressure. If not, then um, I gotta see what's going on. Could be a regulator, some small, but we getting it, guys. Y'all can't see me. I have to move this truck out the way. So yeah, man. So oh, we're gonna turn these lights off. It's gonna be the end of this video, guys. Y'all stay tuned for the um, actual drive. You know, we're gonna do an extra drive, but right now, like I said, we should've just rinse it off. And, man, haven't been out this spot in a while, man. Shit crazy. Man, I haven't seen the, seen this car in just a while, just out, just side being over here, or, you know, gone. But yeah, that's it, man. Thank y'all for watching. Check that pressure real quick. I'm gonna pop the hood. I'm glad I got a key then. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna check this pressure real quick. For some reason, I was kind of putting it in drive back and forth in the parking lot. Could that sound sluggish, but like I said, if we ain't getting the correct fuel, it could be the regulator. So. Don't have another one. In the uh, future, we gotta get the um, trans redid, man. We wanna definitely do that. Or I might just throw an OL60 in there sooner or later. Uh, let me see. Oh, yeah, could, like I said, it could be that fuel pressure. They did say, make sure it wasn't. If gas come out, then it's bad. The pressure regulator bad. Guys watching the channel. Glad we got everything situated. Like I said. We get some things situated, man. Just take time, but we're gonna get it.
That bit run good too, boy. Since the swap, run damn, damn good. 